suicide. What does that word mean to you? For me, I think of the 14th of April, 2018, the day I attempted suicide. I've come through that chapter in my life and I'm finally ready to share my story. I would love if this inspired or helped someone, but I'd be happy even if it just made you think for a second. I didn't like what my life was like in my second year of secondary school. I didn't have many friends and I felt distant from my family. I hated it. And I turned that hatred on myself. I hated my hair, my voice, my body, pretty much everything about me. And on the 13th of April, 2018, I got a bad test result. That's it. Such a mundane thing. And I'm sure every one of you here has gotten one. But to me, it just felt so big. And that combined with my severe self-image issues just got bigger and bigger in my head until I broke. I decided I was gonna kill myself. And so the following day, I took a handful of pills and went to sleep. It was the worst decision I've ever made. And waking up the next morning was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was hoping that if I did wake up, I would be fixed, whatever that means. It isn't that easy. It isn't just the snap of a fingers and all better. It takes time and it's hard. So I started. My aunt told me something that I'd like all of you here today to try. She told me, pick five things you like about yourself and two things you don't. When I first did this, I couldn't even get to five things I liked, but I could definitely think of the things I didn't like. And it got better. I could think, more and, I could think of more and more things I liked about myself. And I'm not gonna say I started to love the bad or something cliche like that. My aunt told me, change the parts you don't like. And I'm not saying go around changing your personality to fit in with a group of friends. But for instance, I didn't like my leg hair. And she said, just shave it. And I felt so empowered. I finally had a choice and I could choose to help myself. Obviously, I wasn't better because I liked myself more. I went to therapy. I went to two government and charity funded organizations called Lucina and Pieta House. They helped me so much. I was on the wait list for Lucina for months and I left after only two months. And that's okay. It's always okay to leave therapy, whether the therapist mightn't suit you or you just aren't ready. And from then on, I worked on and with myself. And look at where I am now. I'm happy, genuinely happy. And this story, my story, is not a sad story because I'm here today. So this isn't happily ever after, but it is happy. Thank you.